All gas appliances must be installed by a trained professional in accordance with applicable gas and plumbing regulations. This installation video is a visualization tool for demonstration purposes only. The NPE series water heater contains the following components. The control panel. Recirculation pump. Two-way valve. Gas valve. Buffer tank. Fan motor. Igniter. Burner. Primary heat exchanger. Secondary heat exchanger. Air pressure sensor. Flow sensor. And water adjustment valve. Please review all instructions included in the installation manual before installing the Navien NPE series water heater. Before starting the installation, remove the water heater and parts from the box and check that all contents are included. Installation Operation Manual Quick Installation Manual Wall Mounting Bracket Tapping Screws and Anchors Vent Termination Caps Wall Flanges conversion kit, and spare parts. First, set the mounting bracket on the wall and use a level to ensure that the water heater is properly balanced and upright after the installation has been completed. Once this is done, mark the proper holes for the mounting screws. Use the included mounting screws and wall anchors to mount the bracket according to the installation instructions. Gently lift the water heater and position the unit onto the mounting plate hooks. Be sure to completely secure the water heater to the wall by using the remaining mounting screws on the bracket at the bottom of the unit. It is recommended that isolation service valves are used for all installations. Please confirm that each valve is placed on the water heater at its proper connections Install properly sized pipe on all water and gas connections. If an external recirculation system is used, install piping to the recirculation inlet fitting. Check the bottom of the unit to verify the locations on the fittings. The water and gas connections are as shown underneath the unit. The cold water inlet Condensate drain port. Recirculation return inlet. Hot water outlet. Gas inlet. The gas connection fitting on all water heaters is 3 quarters inch. Also, a half-inch rigid pipe can be used. Avoid using half-inch corrugated connectors or tubing as noise may occur. Once all the water and gas piping is installed at their proper connections, internal adjustments are required when switching from internal and external recirculation modes. Turn the two-way valve to the horizontal position for internal recirculation be sure to close recirculation inlet adapter with the termination cap provided as recirculation pipe does not need to be installed. And to the vertical position for external recirculation. Check the top of the unit for access to the vent connections. 
NPE series water heaters use 2-inch diameter PVC vent pipe at both the intake and exhaust ports. Use proper cement and sealing methods when installing the PVC vent pipe. Check that all installation clearance requirements are met before completing the vent installation. For safety, make sure that ample amount of primer and cement are applied to the connecting pipe. In order to ensure safety and proper operation of the unit, the exhaust vent and air intake vent must be connected and tightly sealed. Have the end of the intake pipe facing the ground and the termination cap inserted into the vent. And the intake and exhaust pipes need to be separated at least by 12 inches from one another. This water heater also features a removable air intake filter to minimize debris from entering the burner chamber. Please check the air intake filter regularly. An optional remote controller is available for easy accessibility of the features. Simply connect the male end of the remote controller connector to the internal connection located on the control panel. To turn the water heater on, press the power button. To adjust the temperature setting, press the down button to lower the temperature. Press the up button to raise the temperature. Before activating the unit for the first time, ensure that all piping is installed in compliance with current water heater regulations and standards. Please make sure that there are no leaks at both the water and gas connections. All water heaters are factory set and require no further adjustment. Please see the included installation manual for more details regarding the use of a recirculation system with your water heater. Open up the gas and water supply to the unit and turn on multiple fixtures to achieve maximum demand. The gas pressure to the water heater is factory set. The water heater features a drain valve, cold water inlet filter, and a recirculation inlet filter for ease of service and maintenance. Check the water filter for plumbing debris after initial startup. Shut off the cold water supply and all isolation valves. Drain the water from the drain valve. Unscrew the cold water inlet filter and remove excess debris. Make sure that the filter is completely cleaned before placing it back into the water heater. Tighten the filter slightly to prevent leaks. If an external recirculation system is used, check the recirculation inlet filter before proceeding with the installation. Before completing the installation of the water heater, check that all clearances are met according to manufacturer's instructions while also confirming that proper materials were used when installing the water and vent pipe. Make sure that all piping is sealed tightly with no leaks. Also, confirm that properly rated pressure relief valve is installed on the hot water outlet. Make sure that there are no gas leaks at both the piping and the connections. Make sure that the condensate flows freely downward and is disposed of properly. Confirm that the power supply to the unit is a 120 volt alternating current 60 hertz connection and is properly grounded. We would like to thank you for taking the time to view this installation video and hope that it proves to be helpful with your future installations of Navian water heaters.